What's up, Cast Clash Hirsch here, and today I want to talk about White Knights on Amazon server. I'm also going to show off this little account that I have. It's a pretty beast account for being such a little guy. Um, anyways, guys, this is White Knights on Amazon. You can see here we are ranked number four and holding that position strong on our way to rank three. And uh, we've got some pretty awesome donations going on. Um, and something that's really cool is that we just became the third guild on all of Amazon server to have 75 members or be a guild 10 level. There you can see right there with 75 member capacity. So pretty awesome. I believe the only other two guilds that have 75 members are Requiem and uh, Extinction. So there you can see from there on down, even the guild that's ahead of us only has 70 members. So pretty awesome there. Everybody else is 70 and then it Peter's on down to like 65, 70, yeah, somewhere around there. But yeah, so awesome stuff going on there. Um, the guild members are just doing some amazing stuff. We had some real big donations yesterday, so thought I'd uh, show off everybody's donations right here. Um, we have had quite a few, I mean, look at this, 24 thousand shards donated right there 18,000 11,000 lots of elite members going on over there and a lot of active 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 members I mean these guys are always on here talking me up so here I just jumped on so let's say hey see what they all have to say <laughs> usually it doesn't take long for them to get going anyway so about my little account you can see here not very much my i've been keeping it down low um and then uh, i did get spirit mage on this account and cupid is still no pumpkin duke i got a second reaper this is my first reaper five five heavy blow only took a couple rolls to get that my second reaper was born with three five sprint this is what my main reaper on my android account has so i'm actually going to start i'm going to stop leveling him and uh, once he gets to level 120 i'm going to switch to this reaper as my main reaper um gonna use the 5-5 five five heavy blow reaper for boss fights and things like that but i won't be using it um for you know everything else i'm going to be using my sprint reaper uh druid i don't really have i haven't done many rolls on this account i didn't get 5-5 five five slow down you guys have seen that before um 3-5 revite on Emortep. spirit mage so far has 2-5 revite uh 2-5 life drain, nothing too crazy going on there. I showed you that sprint, and then 1-5 heavy blow for my champion. Nothing too crazy. I do have these level 1 heroes that I'm hanging on to just for might boosters if I ever do want to boost might, but I don't I don't keep, I'm, you know, keeping it all down. So there they go. See, I told you if I just say hi. Can you do an anti-hacker video like sand? I did one. I did one. Already. There you go. Um, yeah, I talked about hacking in a recent video, actually, so, um, check it out if you want. Um, so I'll tell them, say hi to YouTube. What's up, guys? There you go. So, uh, yeah, so I thought maybe I'm not working on my way to the, um, eight, Dungeon 8 right now on this account. I'm on Dungeon 6. Just got it unlocked. So I figured we could do a couple dungeons. Um, magic wise, I'm working on getting the Frenzy. So I need level 13 for that. And I have a worker open. So I need uh, 520,000 gold. So I need to do a couple raids first. So we'll do it. Wait, Hershey's for real? Yes. Yes, for real. <laughs> there you go. Bean. Yeah, hi guys. Alright, so let's go do a couple raids and see how we can do. I did remember to grab the flag. So, raiding at this low of might is incredibly easy for me. And doing hero expeditions is really easy too. It's actually kind of a lot of fun to do hero expeditions on this account. Um, I don't do them very often. I probably should. But um, it's fun because I can typically just drop and go. Man, there's no gold so far. There we go. 200k gold. Nice big open spots right there in the center. I wish I had an Atlanta core to drop there. Um, I don't though, so I'm going to take out a tower first and then go from there. Ooh. Let's drop my Reaper over here and my Spirit Mage over there. And then we'll drop everybody else right here on this tower. Yeah, check this out. Spirit Mage and Reaper can handle those troops just fine because these are ground troops. They're not going to be able to really do anything. And everybody else is going to take out those towers. And then Emortep is going to start hitting those heroes from a good distance. Druid will start uh, going to hang on to 
watch out with restoration just because I'm slightly, slightly worried when there's an executioner. When there's somebody with a stun, you never know how long of a stun they're going to have. So I want to keep an eye on them, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I didn't need the restoration, but I'm going to drop it anyways just because I don't want to lose anybody because we're about to have a boss fight. So I guess I'll show you guys a little bit of boss fight as well on this account. So... Come on, guys. Ah, we already got the gold we needed. One raid was all it took to get the gold I need to level up my magic call, or my relic call, I guess. Spirit Mage, kill it, please. Thank you. Yes. I hate having to wait for them to run all the way back over there. Woo, they went fast. Where are we? Yeah, YouTube, gotta eat them Hershey's. <laughs> Any tips on beating H more consistently? Well, let's take a look um, at H. Where is it? Ah, I can't quit talking so I can scroll down. There we go. Bean wants to know how to make or do H more consistently. Come on. It's not letting me view it there, so I'll go through the guild hall. And we'll take a look at Bean. Alright, so first thing I see is I'm guessing this is a town hall 17. Um and you've got Everything way too condensed. We need to spread you out a little bit. Uh, Bean, go look on my YouTube. And I recently did a video on Goddess Dionysus' account. I was rolling. I rolled $100 gem rolls on Goddess's account. Um, go check that out. The base I use in her account is um, a base that is amazing. It's a Town Hall 17 base for Here Be Monsters H. Let's go see if... Where is it? Cast Clash. Pull this up real quick, maybe, if it'll come up. And we'll actually just go look at her base. This is my Android account we're switching to right now. Obviously. Yeah. Alright, so Goddess Dionysus is in the guild COD at the moment, who is a high might guild, so we can check them out real quick. Um, and I can show you her account right now. She's just in COD right now. She is a White Knights member, but she's in COD right now because she's having to um, having trouble meeting any of our boss times. And we have four guilds with four different boss times. <laughs> Crazy. So she'll be coming back to White Knights um, soon, as soon as she's done with her work schedule. So anyways, this is it, guys, right here. Uh, this is a very... Oh, I need to switch back to my Amazon account before it... Um, oh man, it already unloaded. So I lost all your messages, guys. Sorry. But uh, now I'll switch back and forth frequently enough that uh, we can we can uh, not lose it. So anyways, this is Town Hall 17 base. You can see there I've got the five heroes spread out like this. Um, Goddess doesn't like the design because it resembles something, but don't worry about that. Make sure you put your flying heroes closer to there. If you have two flying heroes, put the two instead of two out here. Put the two on this side and have both of them over there. And the spacing between these buildings is important. Not the order of buildings. The order of buildings is not important. But the spacing between them is because it'll make them split off here, 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 and here. So there you guys go. Use this base for Town Hall 17. Here be Monster H. So now let's go back to the Amazon. Hopefully, yep, perfect. I wasn't gone for too long. So, all right, guys. Um, yes, you did win one of my giveaways. That's pretty awesome. The ice bucket with myself was, or Hirsch was funny. So cool, cool. All right, guys. So um, let's check out boss. We've got boss fight in just two minutes or a minute, actually, now. So we will switch up my heroes and do boss. Um, I don't want Spirit Mage for boss. We need Champion. There we go. And I want the Reaper. I probably want Emortep. I'm not sure I want the Thunder God. I do want the Thunder God with the 5-5 five, five slowdown. So let's put Cupid in over here. Yeah, instead of Emortep. Let's do that. I, don't, I normally use Emortep, but I think I'm going to use Cupid instead this time. Um, just because I want to see it. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> All right, boss time, guys. There you go. All right, 20 seconds. Oh, I need to upgrade my hull. Go. Yeah, on its way to level 13 so I can get that frenzy so I can hit the eight uh, dungeon 8. 
let's get boss started. We do tier three boss in White Knights. Um, so here we go. Good luck, everyone. So my boss strategy in this one is kind of lame. I don't really have I don't have a perma stunning boss, although I have lasted over a minute. So that was pretty cool. I think I'm going to tank with Cupid and then drop everybody. And then there's that. Yeah, get some stuns going already. Hopefully we'll get some good stuns from my Reaper. And then once Champion gets stunning, ah, lost it already. Let's go ahead and exit out. I don't mind using these to go because I don't really use them for anything else. Tank with you. Go. Yeah, that's what I want to see. That stun right off the bat. Look at how slow he's moving. <laughs> Thunder God's 5-5 five, five slow down. Making the boss crawl. Love it. Come on, Cupid. And there he goes. So you can see I do I can do a little bit of damage, um, especially when the boss procs or when uh I get a lot of heavy blow hitting. I'm gonna tank with him this time. Ooh, yeah, see I got that heavy blow to hit before he could get there. So I wasted this shield. What if I can get the heavy blow to hit before he goes and I haven't dropped the shield yet, then that's good news for me because that means I can use the shield later on and I'll last a long time on the boss. So let's try it again. Go. Yeah, see there's the heavy blow hitting right off the bat. So see there's three seconds alone minimum just from that first heavy blow hitting that I don't need to worry about it. And when things like this happen, that's another, I mean, we're at, we're at like six or seven seconds there and see, I didn't even need to drop it, but I did it just to be safe. And now see, I mean, I could have waited a lot longer to drop it. Oh, hopefully we'll get lots of heavy blow. Look at that. Yeah. We got champion working with my heavy blow reaper. And he finally got me, but I bet you we did some pretty massive damage on this one. Look at there, 756,000 damage right there. I'm sitting in ninth place at the moment. Not bad at all. So here we go. Let's try it again. Come on. Give me that heavy blow. There's a slowdown working. There it is. Yeah. Three seconds minimum. Now we're at six seconds. I don't need to shield. Watching very closely for that boss to move. Oh, I flinched. I flinched. <laughs> Damn it. And look at all this damage we're doing that I did not need this shield for. Oh, man. Go, guys. Go. Get your some invigoration. See, I could, see, that's where I should have dropped it. Although, unless he swings right now, yep, that would have been a protected swing if I wouldn't have flinched right there. Damn. 900, almost a million damage in one little go. So here we go again. One more time, hopefully. Go. It's done. Yes. All right. Don't flinch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this. The longer this lasts, the better. Shield. Good, good shield. See, that was a good shield right there. I definitely needed that one. And now hopefully we'll have plenty of time to get some stuns going. Yeah, see right there. Perfect. No, he woke up just in time to take out my Cupid, but that's all right. All right, that was the last one for me, guys. 700,000 damage again right there. And I'm not even in top 10 right now. My guild does pretty damn good damage. And the perma stunners haven't dropped in yet, so we'll see how they do. First full minute perma. Congratulations, Durza. <laughs> yes, you can perma, guys. All right. So, no more messing around with chat. Sorry, guys. I'm going to switch back out my Emortep and Spirit Mage. And then... Oops. I think that was supposed to be Druid. My bad. Emortep goes there. And then I will go hit those dungeons using the magic and see if I can do anything good. And this is live. I'm not going to edit this video at all. So, I mean, if I fail miserably, then that's it. I fail miserably. Oops, I need to grab some magic real quick. Where's 
restoration. There we go. All right, back in there. So see how we do. Dropping Druid to draw out that Spirit Mage. And you went the wrong way. Yeah, buddy. That was good. Took out that Spirit Mage right off the bat. I don't like how the Druid is going the opposite direction of all my rest of my guys. He's going to get further away because he's heading towards that army camp. This is no good. But yeah, and they're just going to get further and further away from here on out. So I need to be handy with this restoration. Especially once they get near that ninja. That's not going to be good. Unless Spirit Mage can take out that ninja for me. I'm going to need it. Go, take him out, take him out. Stun him. Stun him. No! And of course now ninja is going to go on. Yeah, <laughs> of course now Spirit Mage takes him out. But that's okay because I'm going to 100% this. And I didn't even really need 100% this. I could have left at 50%. Or just one flame by taking out the uh, town hall. Um, but uh, I'm going to stay and 100% it just because I don't like seeing only two flags. Even if it means that my reaper there dies from that tower. But I don't think it's going to. Spirit Mage will take it out. Look at that beautiful. I love Spirit Mage. Just love them. So next we'll go and do Here Be Monsters since I did lose my Thunder God and Emortep. So we'll go hit this. Oh look we got some. Perfect. Ooh, I could do three of those and redeem it all, but I can't do a hero talent right now. I don't have enough gems. Damn. Well, at least I'll redeem that little bit of HP. So, one... I can do G, and I can win G with this account, but it's usually... I mean, it's pretty close. Ooh, I want to get my Cupid in here so that he'll level up. And actually, I want to take you to 100... So I'll do that as well. So, okay, so let's try G and see how it goes. All right. Hopefully this one won't take too long, because I've got boss fight in White Knight's main guild and on Android, so this will be the last thing I do on this video, and then I will do boss fight on Android in the main guild, and then um, we will get to uh, uploading this video for you guys. Come on, Spirit Mage. There's a good Thunder God proc. Perfect. So I've heard um, the maintenance that was supposed to be this morning uh, got canceled on Android and is going to be happening tonight at 9 p.m. on server time. So if that happens, that's going to be awesome because that's uh, that's Torch Battles, I think, or at least it's the new uh, uh, Team Dungeons. Oh, no, that champion just took out two of my guys, and there went my Emortep. I lost Spirit Mage and Emortep on G3. This is going to be a horrible loss. I'm not going to make it. I'm, I might make it through G4, but I'm not going to make it through G5. That was terrible luck. Just that champion had a perfect proc. So right here, this is the only bad thing about this base design is these guys will, for whatever reason, come through here in these spots. So this will be fixed once my Town Hall 17, it's on its way to Town Hall 17, that's what will fix this problem right here. But in the meantime, this is what we've got. Come on Reaper, power through G4 so I can get the reward of G. Drude, come on, no, he got stunned. God, these champions, they're just painful. When they proc, it's over. And these towers aren't going to last, so I'm going to go ahead and exit this, grab the rewards, and so you can see there, I can win G, but it's not 100%. Once this is Town Hall 17, then it will be 100% for sure. So that's it, guys. Let's go ahead and say goodbye. Congrats again to uh, White Knights on Android for being the third guild on the whole server to have a uh, level 10 guild hall. And uh, for there, what are we doing? <laughs> Anyways, have a good night, guys. I'm out. Bye.